Hello everyone, Kokto Ministries here, back with another Bible Talk video. I got a new setup recently, so my channel face character will not appear on screen until I get a new one. Before I get into the message, I want to explain why I haven't been posting videos. If you just want to hear the message, skip to the time on screen. I have been really busy in my personal life with my job, my family matters, and schooling. I'm trying to get my GED. And I haven't been feeling motivated to making videos. I don't want to quit my YouTube channel. Uh, because I enjoy sharing God's word, but I don't think I could post very frequently. But I promise I'll record and post videos whenever I can. Today, Bible Talk message is going to be Wait on the Lord. Psalms 27, 14. I'm reading out of the King James Version. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Basically, what this scripture is saying is that it's all in God's timing. What are you believing for right now? What are you praying for right now? Has your prayer been answered yet? A delay is not a denial. See, we want to put a time limit on everything. As, as humans, we want to have everything exactly when we want it. In the world we live in, it is easy to get, or not, in a lot of cases, easy to get things exactly when we want them. But we got to remember that God's timing is much better than our timing ever could be. So even if we don't get things exactly when we want them, it's in God's timing, things will work out for the better. So if I ask you this, is there anything that you're waiting on right now that you've asked the Lord for, that you're praying for? Well, if you keep seeking, believing, and keeping the faith in the Lord, then I promise you, in His timing, it will come to pass. Just keep seeking the Lord and praying. God, God will not let anything bad happen, I promise you. Give Him time, and it, I, I assure you, it will work out for the better. Currently, I'm believing for something right now. I'm not saying, I'm going to say what it is at the moment. But I'm currently waiting on the Lord myself for a, prayer, for a prayer to be answered. And let's keep that in mind as we keep continuing and seeking the Lord in our daily lives. Because the closer we get to God, the closer we believe in Him, the sooner, the better things will be when it comes to pass. Because... We all need God in our lives every day. We have got that de daily devotion, not just on a Sunday basis, but on a daily basis. And as long as you give time for the Lord each day, and I mean quality time, I, I'm not just saying read your Bible for an hour, boom, you're done, or something like that. As long, it doesn't matter. It doesn't exactly matter how much time you give God. It's the quality that matters. Now, let's just remember to keep the faith. That is the most important thing. Keep the faith that God will take care of it, whatever it may be that you're praying for. Because if you believe it, you will receive it. Now, I want to pray a prayer real quick with you all. And uh, pray along with me. If, if, you, if you wish, please pray along with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today to ask for you to help us with our patience and trust in you, Lord. Help us keep the faith in hard times in our life, Lord Jesus, and know that everything will work out in your way, Lord. Let your will be done for us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Just trust in the Lord, everyone. Keep the faith that everything will turn out just fine. Keep the faith that everything in your life will work for the benefit for you and God's timing. I'm also wanting to pray for anyone who wants to be forgiven of their sins. If you want to be forgiven of your sins, please pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today to ask for forgiveness of our sins. Jesus, we know that you died on the cross and rose again. I confess my sins before you this day. Please come into my heart and life and write my name in the Lance Book of Life. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen and amen. If you prayed that prayer and you meant it and you want to accept Christ as your Savior, then you are saved in Jesus' name. I want to thank you all very much for watching. God bless you and goodbye, everyone.